All right, hello everyone. Today's lab is formula of a hydrate. Today we're going to determine the percentage of water in a copper sulfate pentahydrate, and then also determine the percentage of water in an unknown hydrate salt. After that, we'll calculate the water of crystallization for the unknown hydrate salt. To begin, we have porcelain crucibles. These crucibles have been rinsed with water and flame dried. The first step is to find the mass of this crucible with the lid. The mass of this crucible and lid is 26.342 grams. Record this in your notebooks. We'll record it up here. After finding the mass of the crucible and lid, we're going to place between 1 and 1.5 grams of known hydrate, in this circumstance, copper sulfate pentahydrate, in the crucible. Then we will find the mass again with the crucible lid and the copper sulfate pentahydrate. The mass for the crucible, lid, and copper sulfate pentahydrate is 27.645 grams. Then we'll take this crucible with its contents and place it on a clay triangle with the lid mostly covering the crucible. At first, we will gently heat the crucible using a Bunsen burner. After gently heating, we'll move to a more intense flame and heat for 10 minutes. While the copper sulfate pentahydrate crucible is heating for 10 minutes, we'll go ahead and get the unknown hydrate started. This is the mass of the unknown hydrate crucible without the hydrate added yet. It's 24.901 grams. Right. And to this we'll add between one and one and a half grams of our unknown hydrate. The mass of the crucible and lid with the unknown hydrate is 26.735 grams. Again, record these masses in your notebook. We'll record them on the board here for you. And much like the crucible with the copper sulfate pentahydrate, we'll take our unknown hydrate in the crucible, set it onto a clay triangle, and gently heat for just a couple minutes before moving to a more intense flame and heating intensely for 10 minutes. Now that the crucible container in their copper sulfate pentahydrate has been intensely heated for 10 minutes, we'll remove the flame from the crucible and allow it to cool to pretty much room temperature.
The crucible containing the copper sulfate pentahydrate that we evaporated the water out of is now cooled to room temperature and ready to find its mass. After heating, the mass is 26.963 grams. The crucible with the unknown hydrate has cooled to room temperature and we have also found its mass. 26.475 grams. We will repeat this experiment for the unknown in additional trial, as well as an additional trial for the copper sulfate. We started the second trial with a new crucible, reweighed at 33.914 grams, with the sulfate 35.783 grams. For the unknown sulfate, for the unknown hydrate, we've also used a new crucible with 36.793 grams being its mass. And then of course, we'll add more unknown hydrate to the crucible between one and 1 1.5 grams for a total of 37.967 grams. The second trial will proceed just as the first. Initially, we will gently heat these and then heat intensely for 10 minutes before allowing them to cool to room temperature and then finding its mass again to determine how much water was removed. The mass of the crucible containing the copper sulfate, trial two, is 35.037 grams. Recorded here. Notice. For entry number five, the mass of the anhydrous salt, you can take entry number four, which is the mass of the crucible lid and anhydrous salt, and subtract entry one, the mass of the crucible and the lid. From there, you will get the mass of the anhydrous salt. The mass of the water is entry three, the mass of the hydrate. Subtract the mass of the anhydrous salt. The difference gives you your mass of water. For trial two of the unknown hydrate, after drying, the mass of the crucible and lid and the anhydrous salt is 37.786 grams. To determine percentage of water in your sample, you can take the mass of the water divided by the mass of hydrate. This answer times 100% to yield a percentage, and that will give you your percent of water.